Well, what a fucking surprise. What a mother fucking surprise. Here I am on this spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful day in paradise, coming in to New York City and the one thing I was trying to avoid was going across the motherfucking George Washington Bridge. Uh, but anyway, the best laid plans. Uh, I did not realize till a fucking five minutes ago that I'm being taken over the fucking George Washington Bridge here on this spectacularly gorgeous. It is a Tuesday, September 12th, 2023, the day after September 11th, and uh, I am heading to Long Island to hook up with my good buddy Osama, number five, sometimes known as Bella Lugrisi. And I'm dragging this goddamn trailer behind. Uh, oh, fuck. Well, you know, I've never been over the George Washington Bridge in my entire life. So this will be a new life experience a week before my 64th birthday. I will, uh, there it is. There is my first view of New York City, baby. Coming across the George Washington Bridge for the first time in my life. So, you know, I might as well have the experience one time in my life. I think there were like five fucking bridges that uh, this, this motherfucking robot could have taken me over and uh, taking me over the George Washington Bridge. I don't even know what the goddamn toll is. I have no fucking idea why this goddamn robot with all of the bridge choices this fucking robot had to get me from here to Long Island uh, took me over this motherfucker. But they're claiming it is the uh, quickest route. So, uh, here I go. So, anyway, I was going to be telling us... I, 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 I just assumed by now, guys, that I was going to be in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic. I am going 60 miles an hour, two miles from the George Washington Bridge turnoff. Uh, so, I'm going to keep getting interrupted by the robot, but... Uh, while I'm waiting for the robot to get me through New York City, baby. Uh, tell you the story. In two miles, use the left three lanes to take the I-95 North exit toward George Washington Bridge. Uh, so I will tell you the story of the last time I was here. Uh, I just told the story of the time I was here in 1976 and so after that adventure in 1976 I did not return to the hellhole of New York City for 21 no for 20 years pretty much exactly 20 years in a month it was October of 1996, I'm 99.9% .9 sure, October of 1996, all I know is the Atlanta Braves were playing the New York Yankees in the World Series, and of course, I'm from Atlanta, so uh, some of you know my mother died of cancer in the spring of 1997 so anyway 
uh, my mother was scheduled to get her surgery in October and it and I knew that my life was going to be fucked from the time my mother got her surgery up until the day she died I had no idea how much in half a mile use the left three lanes to take the I-95 north exit toward George Washington Bridge I had no clue how fucked her life and my life were getting ready to be but I had one more chance to take a road trip and uh, use the left three lanes to take the I-95 north exit then keep left at the fork and uh, so my buddy Kevin and I we were thinking where should we take a fucking road trip to well keep uh, left at the fork obviously the uh, we were going to New York City from Atlanta Continue Georgia. Continue on I-95 North for three miles. We were going to uh, go to New York City from Atlanta to cheer on the Atlanta Braves, hopefully whipping the New York Yankees ass in the World Series for 1996. So that year I was driving the, the vehicle we chose for this uh, went to an auto auction and I bought this beat up something like a 1982 uh, Honda Civic that I think I paid about $400 for this beat up old car so uh, the idea was to you know, I, I, I didn't want to take a nice car, so uh, I said, okay, uh, went out to the auto auction and bought this goddamn beat-up old Honda and saying, uh, uh, all right, I said, okay, if it, if it drives around the block, it should be able to make it to New York City and back. And with that in mind, so I bought this car, driving fine, so... Uh, my buddy and I pile our shit. Fortunately, we did not bring a dog. We decided that was not a good idea. So we pile our stuff into, we called it the silver bullet, is what we call the, uh, this beat up old Honda was, obviously it was silver. The silver bullet, and we take off from Atlanta, Georgia, heading to New York City to cheer on the Atlanta Braves at the World Series in a in a sports bar. Uh, I wish this fucking robot would check in with me what I'm supposed to be doing here. But anyway, we did not make it to New York City. We broke down uh, in, in the shithole town of Hagerstown, Maryland. In a quarter mile, keep right to stay on I-95 North. Uh, so we, uh, I'm going to have to set this camera down. I'm trying to hold a, I have a dog in my lap. Uh, I'm holding a smartphone in my left hand, holding a camera. Keep right to stay on I-95 North. In my right hand, dragging a trailer across the bridge so I'm just going to stick this trail continue for two miles I'm just gonna stick this camera right here guys I hope you can see anything out of it so anyway we uh Kevin and I we fucking break down on the side of the road in this shithole little town called Hagerstown, Maryland, not knowing where the fuck we were, what the fuck we were going to do, and we were broken down probably on I-81, I'm not sure of the freeway we were on, uh, and uh, so first we had to get the car towed 
off the side of the road. Of course, the fucking cops. Uh, I guess this is an automatic toll booth. Uh, I'm sure I just getting charged some fucking twenty dollar toll to cross this bridge. So uh, we. Uh, This is the George Washington Bridge. So we uh, get the car towed to this place. Uh, and the first thing that I need to do is get rid of this fucking car. So I sold the car for $50. To this dude for 50 bucks. I sold the car at $50. Well, I guess is this the George Washington Bridge I'm going over? I guess this is the George Washington Bridge. Never been here in my life. And uh, so we sell the fucking car and then you know we have all our luggage checked. Somehow we made it to the goddamn Greyhound bus station. I have no idea how we found a Greyhound bus from Hagerstown, Maryland to New York City. So we get on the goddamn... In a quarter mile, keep right to continue on I-95 lower level north Trans Manhattan Expressway. So we, we get on the goddamn Greyhound and, and head from Hagerstown, Maryland into New York Welcome City. to New York. Back in New York, baby. Keep right to continue on I-95 lower level north. Okay. We are, uh... Well, I guess that was the George Washington Bridge I've been over. Now I can... Continue for six like miles. Six miles. All right. Welcome. Welcome to New York my first traffic jam since leaving Bugs in a Jar Farm. Oh boy, pulling this goddamn trailer. So anyway, uh, so this is 20 years ago that I'm coming into this fucking town was the last time I came into this town uh, on, a, on a Greyhound bus. Uh, not knowing what we, we had no fucking idea no plan where the fuck we were going uh, You know gonna sleep that night or anything else so we get off at the uh, At the Greyhound bus station God, asshole. We uh, get off at the Greyhound bus station in New York City and just dragging our fucking luggage around with us looking for some shithole shit hole hotel and we ended up in the Carter Hotel and that means anything to you it was right across where I think that they loaded the New York Times uh, where they loaded the New York Times newspaper all night long this banging so we we settle in there's a five minute slowdown on i-95 north in 0 0.75 miles yeah, you're right. still on the best route yeah right and uh so we uh we check into the fucking carter hotel right across the street from the loading dock of the new york times and uh, decide, all right, so it was time to, uh, we had two nights there. Uh, so it was my first time in New York City. The last time I had been in New York City, uh, I was, which I told the story the last time, I was uh, hitchhiking with my dog at age 16. In uh, 1976. So anyway, uh, here we are, 
and we had two nights there, so neither one of us knew what the fuck we were doing. So we 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 leave the goddamn Carter Hotel and, and head out, and uh, so I was uh, thirty. Well, it, it was right, was it right before my 37th or my 38th birthday? It was a month before my 37th or my 38th birthday, whatever, somewhere in there. And we head out into the... Continue for half a mile. We head out into the city. Continue for five miles. Continue for a half mile or continue for five miles? Which one, bitch? Uh, I guess it's North 95 that uh, I'm supposed to stay on. And uh, just trying to figure out what the fuck we're we're going to do so you know the first thing on our minds after our long day it was uh, it was right after dark and so we uh you know we went and obviously found something to eat can't remember what dinner was so after dinner we uh we head out into new york city and just side obviously uh there was not a game that night there was not a fucking game that night and uh you know the braves what was it in the atlanta braves were atlanta was playing new york in atlanta the next night so we were in new york at the in, and the game I'm pretty well the game wasn't in New York it was out of town I'm assuming and that meant it was in Atlanta right so we had this night to kill we had because we wanted to be at the game the next night at a sports bar so we had one night in New York City and uh, <clears throat> you, you know I've already forgot what year this was uh, what year was uh, when did my mother die she died in a 97 so this was 96 because she died in 96 so anyway it was it, it, it had to have been 96 and uh, so we had one night to kill because obviously we wanted to be at a sports bar the next night so we decided to go slumming and needless to say uh, so it was right before my 37th birthday, I'm almost sure, the years do. I, so it was right on the cusp, you know, I turned 37 in September. It was uh, right around my 37th birthday. And uh, so we head out slumming and we obviously our first stop is a strip joint well I mean after dinner we go to a strip joint and my buddy who who is very naive a lot more naive than me gets uh, gets his attention diverted are they still called B girls that he had this B girl latch I don't know if that's the term they still use, but anyway, B-girls are not exactly prostitutes. They lead you to believe they are prostitutes, but all they do, you know, they work for the bar and they sit there and drink a bunch of expensive drinks, but, uh, but of course, she doesn't have any alcohol in her drink and my completely clueless fucking moron buddy thinks that he's going to end up fucking this girl and I'm saying Kevin she's a fucking b-girl you're, you're not going to get this goddamn pussy but he will not listen to reason and uh, so I said fuck it have fun I will beat you back 
at the, uh, I will meet you back at the hotel. Uh, we each had a key, so you're a grown man. So I start off myself, and I had never been to Times Square. So I said, okay, I'm going to Times Square. Somehow I found, I found my way to Times Square, and I don't know what it looks like today, but I mean, it was just solid line of uh, porno stores, basically. You know, strip joints and porno shops and stuff. So, uh, I decided, since I had never done it, well, obviously, I was a 37-year-old man, I had been to these goddamn peep shows uh, growing up in Atlanta, Georgia, but uh, I had heard about the, you know, the porno films, in, uh, in, in, in Times Square, some of the shit that they showed on these things. And, and I, I was really, all joking aside, uh, I, I really wanted to, to, you know, to see, to check the story out about these damn Uh, porno houses in Times Square at least in 1997 so I go into this damn peep show place to see what the fuck this is because you know I was from Atlanta I mean they had porno places in Atlanta but they they weren't New York City if you get my drift so I go in there and I go in the booth and I put my money in the video booth. You know, this was years before uh, VCRs and stuff where they still had, I think they were called peep shows. Is that what they called them? And so I go into this peep show, this video booth, and it comes on, and what it is, is a woman getting fucked by a pig. Uh, I, I, I mean, a full-size fucking boar. I'm talking like a, a you know, a goddamn 400-pound boar with, uh, w w with fucking testicles the size of coconuts. And, and, and the, the, this goddamn woman is there on her hands and knees. And, and this fucking pig is is fucking this woman and I'm looking at this thinking my fucking god uh, I, I thought I had seen some nasty shit in my life I was 37 years old uh, I'd been to orgies and everything else and I'm thinking oh my god and, and I'm looking at this and I went into uh, for one of the three times in my life this has happened, I, I had a full-blown panic attack in a Times Square peep show booth looking at this woman basically getting raped by a pig. And, it, it, and I went into a full-scale panic attack. I, I don't know if you guys have ever been in a panic attack has happened to me three times. Uh, whoever named them panic attacks knew what the fuck they were talking about. And, 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 and I just completely just, just fucking flipped out uh, in, in a goddamn peep show in Times Square uh, with this... Uh, movie of this uh, woman getting fucked uh, by, the, by this pig. I, I, I mean, I almost vomited. Uh, it, and, I mean, my, my goddamn heart is racing. I'm absolute freak out. I, 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 what in the fuck have you gotten yourself into? So I, I, I get out of the goddamn 
uh, I, I, I fight my way out of the goddamn peep show, uh, out of this goddamn porno store, and I emerge out onto the sidewalk, and now, it, you know, it's full-on dark. I don't know what time it is by now, probably 10 o'clock at night. Uh... <laughs> Well, this would have been October, so I would have, it would have been past my birthday. I think I right past my 37th birthday. So I, I, I stagger out onto the fucking sidewalk uh, in Times Square having a full-blown fucking freak-out panic attack. Uh, in, in an absolute hyperventilating freakout mode, I'm totally by myself uh, there, and, and 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 I just sit down. Surely I. Well, it's telling me to take 295 South. So uh, I, I just sit down on the fucking sidewalk and, and, and put my head between my knees and I'm squeezing the side of my, uh, uh, of my head with my goddamn knees and, and hyperventilating, trying to get my pulse from racing and Jesus Christ. Somehow I fucking, uh, I, I kept it together, you know, just enough. Uh, I have no fucking idea how I found my way back to the Carter Hotel, uh, in, uh, in Manhattan. So I make it back there, no sign of my buddy. My very innocent, naive buddy is, is, is lost on the streets of New York, obviously. In a quarter mile, keep right at the fork to continue on Cross Bronx Expressway. Follow signs for I-295 South, Throgs Neck Bridge. And, uh, and so I get back to the Carter Hotel and uh, somehow... Keep right at the fork to continue on Cross Bronx Expressway. And, uh, and somehow I make it up to my room and, and I just went and hid in the closet. I just climbed into the closet in the pitch black dark, squeezing my head between my knees trying to calm myself down and I'm in the fucking closet when my buddy gets back home and finds me in the closet having a fucking panic attack and uh, and, and I just remember I mean, you know, like uh, 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 like Hambone you have got to get a fucking grip and uh, he thought that he was taking me to the fucking nut house uh, Jesus fucking Christ. So we get up the next morning and I'm feeling a lot better. So we have the whole day to kill. So it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful morning anyway. This would be, uh, well, when would the World Series be? And, uh, and, I've lost track of what month. Is that October? A a anyway, whenever the fucking World Series was, uh, and, uh, anyway, I, I, it's been so long since I've watched baseball. I can't even remember. Fucking September, October, it doesn't matter. So, uh, I want to go to the uh, Natural History Museum after my exciting night the night before and so we head down there go to the Natural History Museum and we started noticing literally the storm clouds gathering uh, and good fucking God, 
I don't know if you remember, I don't know what game it was of the 1996 uh, World, World There's Series. There's an eight minute slowdown on Cross Island Parkway in three miles. You are still on the best route. And uh, and so it started fucking raining and raining and raining and raining and raining. Now, wait a minute. I'm pretty sure the game was in New York. That's right. I mean, and it fucking, uh, I mean, it, the, the skies opened up. Uh, the, the skies absolutely opened up that day. The, uh, the, uh, uh cars, cars only, I guess I'm a car. Uh, I mean, just fucking pouring down rain all day. The subway. In two miles, take exit eight for Cross Island Parkway. I don't know what bridge this is. Maybe this is. Maybe this is the. Is this the George? Is, is, is this the fucking bridge that I thought that I'd already. Uh, I don't even know if this. What bridge I'm crossing. Uh, I'm heading over to Cross Island uh, on this gorgeous day. So, uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, the, the goddamn uh, subway was flooded out and all of this shit. And so my buddy and I, we, we find a, a sports bar and, and I mean the absolute howling, pouring rain, we managed to find our way to a uh, to a sports bar and, you know of course with our Atlanta Braves t-shirts and hats on walking into this sports bar in New York City wearing our Braves uh, regalia we were actually quite warmly received by the guys they they thought it was quite humorous that that any clueless fucking moron uh, would show up wearing an Atlanta Braves t-shirt and hat and uh, they were actually quite nice the guys and of course the uh, the, the fucking game was rained out that night in a quarter mile take exit 8 for Cross Island Parkway and uh, so anyway we never got to cheer on the Atlanta Braves, but it was very nice people we met. And I was over my, uh, I was over my panic. Take exit eight. I was over my panic attack, and uh, got up the next morning, and we got on the Greyhound bus. And we headed to Washington, D.C., baby, for the only time I have ever been in the shithole of Washington, D.C. Uh, and that is another story for another day. Right now, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, over-the-top beautiful day. In New York City, baby, it is 81 degrees and bright blue sky. I hear it's not going to be so pretty tomorrow. So uh, I am uh, off to see uh, my old buddy Bella Lugrisi, the artist formerly known as Osama number five and I'm sure that Osama and I will be bringing you a video shortly but uh, okay I am finally in a New York City traffic jam so I better pay attention to my goddamn driving pulling this goddamn trailer I mean look at all these 
you know, I mean, this bright blue sky, beautiful trees. One day after the 9-11 anniversary. So, of course, my buddy, Bella Lugrisi, the former Osama number 5, is one of my uh, good buddies who does not believe the planes ever hit the buildings. Uh, but we will probably avoid beating that dead horse. Uh, <laughs> Any who's get out there and come enjoy New York City while you still can, baby. It is a gorgeous day here in the end times. This is this is New York City. I I mean is I, I feel like this is a leafy suburb. Uh, look, look at this, N New York City. Uh, I understand there's uh, coyotes, a breeding population of coyotes, living in Central Park, and they claim the the only way they can figure is that they just walked over the George Washington Bridge, that these fucking coyotes uh, just walked over the George Washington Bridge and set up shop in Central Park. So, uh, and I am heading out for the first time in my life to Long Island, New York. I have never been to Long Island, New York. But uh, I am not quite sure why I am heading southeast. I thought I should be heading northeast. But anyway, I guess the robot knows what the fuck she's talking about. And uh, get out there and enjoy New York City, baby, while you still can. Bye, guys. What do you think, little dog? Are you enjoying New York City on this spectacularly gorgeous day? With all of the sailboats out in New York Harbor. I guess that's New York Harbor. I don't know what the fuck that is. Bye, guys.